Welcome back guys to another Legion IX Spanner replay. I'm bringing you another Winter Cup battle in my group. This was against um, this was against Vetri. Oh Vetri, sorry, um, Wolf Vendetta. I am playing a Sparta, he can't have picked me using Macedon. Let's go for the army so I'll start with my opponent first. He has three slingers, four four axe swords, and four shield bearers. Very good spear infantry here. I don't know why you would bring them against. I thought always thought that as well. Pelotus would have been a better use against enemy spears, but that's what he's brought. Um, he's brought four Thessalian cavalry, good choice, and two javelinmen that have a really weird accent when you click them. I have brought three periorikoi spears, two on the left, two on my right flank, one on my left flank, four Gorgos skirmishers, two citizen cavalry, I'm backed up with three Tarantine cavalry, two on the left, one on the right, four Spartan hoplites. Two, two, um, I believe it's two or them, two Royal Spartans, and a hero of Sparta on my left flank, which is a really good old powered unit. Again, we've got Spartan units with no shoes because for some reason they do not wear shoes. Okay, so I send over my Tarantine Cab to the um, right flank to do some skirmishing with his Vesalians, but that is why he has the Chablin men on the flank. As you see, I don't really. really they could go for a charge on them, and they would shatter pretty quickly, but the Pisalian is just a bit too close. So what he does is he brings his, he brings his slingers close, and I thought I was just going to do a skirmish engagement with him. With my go -go, my female Gorgos -go skirmishes here. Well, he does stop bringing the rest of his army up, so I do get a bit worried in case he's just trying to do a YOLO charge. So I do bring my um, Gorgos -go skirmishes behind my line, and by doing that I do expose my flank a little bit. I probably do, I think I do lose one or two. Gorgos skirmishers, yeah, but they are very good javelin unit. This and Gorgos skirmishers. Tend to get a bit of slinger fire right now, but I should start returning some right now. This one is a weird position again. This thing is going to be very careful. So I decided to do a Yolo charge with my citizen cavalry because at the end of the day it is citizen cavalry. And I get a very healthy, clean charge into the Forex swords and even into the shield bears behind, which means I'm not going to get interrupted. Which means my general unit can get into combat pretty nicely. He just moving a Thessalian cavalry, but it is getting pretty shut up by his own troops. So my general is having a very good time though. Only got nine kills. I pull, I pull away both my citizen cavs. Pull through is allowed through infantry, through cav for infantry, and infantry through cavalry. But cav on cav and infantry on infantry is prohibited. So it is not allowed. Minor ones will be let off with a slap on the wrist, however. So not as long as there's nothing game breaking, you might be able to be all right. But I haven't done any. Yeah, so he gets a charge of his Vitalia on this brace spot and hop on the side, it's a very good call by him. So the javelin job volley though did kill so did all did actually do quite a bit of hit point damage. So I'm gonna bring in my Perioikoi spears here. My general's having a very good time and he's on fifty one kills and only losing very few men. I do get a very nice charge on this javelin with his Tarantine cavalry. Same for the left flank as well, and back it up with some Perioikoi spears to take out what's left is Vesalian cavalry. I am moving a hero of Sparta around the flank to do some damage, and I am targeting firing my slingers to take out his slingers. I should have really got a jamming volley on this Vesalian cavalry, but I don't know why I didn't. It was a bit weird over here. I do get them, however, to uh, my periodic spears to move back in to help this rock sword fight, I believe. And my um, slingers are having a very good time hitting, quite, killing quite a few of these forex swords. Google skirmishers are a very good skirmish unit, probably one of the best cost effective brief ones out there. These um, Heroes of Sparrow are absolutely shredding these forex swords, the smithereens, and my left flank has been completely won. So it's doing alright. I will also be posting in a link to the challenge log bracket, so if anyone wants to see how the old tournament is going out for me and everything. Feel free to have a look at that. I believe in this thing I've finished my last Winter Cup game against Helvetian and so far I will be on four ties overall and two losses. I was in a very challenging group so I did quite well to get where I was so we'll see if I get through to the end next round. If not I will be showing you gameplay from other members that do get through to the next round that I've sent you in games. So I'll, bring, I'll keep on bringing you many, plenty of Winter Cup tournament action. I should have said this Ross Barton's doing absolutely amazing work against these Forex Swords and against Thing. I just finished killing his general with my general, which is what my general has lost a decent amount of troops, but I have succeeded because a Ross Spartan will beat the crap out of a um, Shield Bear any day of the week. Spartan Half White won, however, so I am bringing in some support. 
on the right flank here, my um, my Spartan Hoplites are doing alright against these four X Hoplites, but not great. Let's get a Vasilian charging to these Gorgos skirmishes, which is a shame. But on the left flank, I'm pretty lapping up, apart from this um, Vasilian cab in the background here still, which is pretty annoying. But this shield bearer should be dying soon to these two Spartan Hoplites, and my Gorgos skirmishes are having a very good time. <coughs> these Tarantines, I'm in a ball wrapping up some skirmishes, so which frees up my um, Hot Heroes of Spartan Perioi Kai to do some rear charging. I bring in my Tarantines to try and contain my Fessil these Fessilene Cavalry, and I am bringing in the um, Perioi Kai Spears to get a nice javelin volley on the side, as we'll see. We'll get a very nice charge here to the side. Still not wearing any shoes. So these ones are going to engage, so it's going to be a massive flood here. The balance point is heavily in my favour, so I don't think he should be going to last on much longer. The way it's going, I am going to lose this citizen cab, but uh, my citizen cab has done a decent job, hitting up enemy infantry, stopping a charge. Helped me win that centre engagement quite nicely, the um, the Olo charge I did. So here I'm moving my spotted hoplites to engage this civil so this Vicerian cab, and the rest of his army has, I believe it's just fine, so we'll get some zoom in footage of and kills over here. Yeah, it was a good game to my opponent, I enjoyed it thoroughly. He might think he just managed to, he just, I think I had my um, Gorgos skirmish just routes at the end there, so it's a slight victory for him with the skirmishes. This is a close victory, it was a very good game. I did quite well. As you can see, those fog swords didn't do that well. Some of the um, shield bearers did quite well, though. Did you get that one, that one, and the two that you can tell that did get charged with a system carve are the ones with the least amount of kills, which he's saying can do alright apart from this one. Um, Slingers and Javelins don't do that well. Um, my infantry are doing well across the board. Perioi is intact. Skirmish is doing alright across the board. Cavalry doing alright across the board. It's a great game guys and I will um, see you later. A quick shout out to um, one of my um, friends who's also doing a YouTube channel. It's called, um, called Bobby. A link will be in the description below. Um, great you. Great guy, um, he does a new form of YouTubing that I don't do, he does a lot more in-depth commentary of gameplay, he, um, more than the zoom-ins and cinematic version, he does a lot more gameplay mechanics, so if you want to learn a bit, he's a great guy to go and see, so um, thanks, for the, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the battlefield next time, bye bye.